Hey guys, I'm back with another GoPro tips and tricks video. In this video, I'm going to be showing how to rotate your video in uh, QuickTime, and it has to be QuickTime Pro. It doesn't work with just QuickTime, so you will need to purchase a copy of QuickTime Pro to have this work. Uh, rotate your video 180 degrees, so if you've mounted your camera upside down and not put it into upside down recording mode, and the video recorded when you play it back in your computer upside down, this is how we can flip it over, and then also not just for playing but it is possible then to export the video out of QuickTime and save it as a rotated file. So to do this, as you can see this video file is upside down. So to do this we go into Window, Show Movie Properties. If you don't have QuickTime Pro this will be uh, a blank, it will be blanked out and you won't be able to click on it. Um, open up the Movie Properties, click on Video Track, you click on settings and then we just click the rotate button here twice and that flips it over and now we can see the video is um, right way up save or save and then it will bring up um, your movie options properties as everything like that click on I'm just going to save to my desktop desktop um, hit save and we will get a progress bar showing the movies being exported and now the new movie will open and we can see that um, the new movie has been saved completely right way up and regardless of what software you open it in it will open right way up so guys, that was a quick video showing how to use QuickTime Pro to both rotate your video for playback as well as um, rotating it permanently and then resaving a new file that is um, saved the right way up. One thing that I would like to note with this is after you've rendered the new video file the right way up, it's a good idea to delete the original one just to save space in your computer because there's no point having two files that are identical and one of them being upside down one of them being right way up. These video files are quite large and um, therefore it's a good idea just to try to save space wherever you can. Thanks for watching this is our GoPro Tips and Tricks video. If you've enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe, check out my channel for lots more videos, and until next time, thanks for watching.